takes advantage of situations. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are aware that we are engaged in spiritual conflict. The Bible, especially the New Testament, uh, speaks to us as New Testament believers and warns us or in, uh, warns us several times in several places that there is an enemy out there, an adversary with whom we have to contend with or wrestle with or engage with. And this week, we want to address or expose some of Satan's tactics. How, uh, what, uh, how he approaches or tries to gain entrance into the lives of God's people. Uh, of course, this is not a complete study on spiritual warfare, uh, but we are addressing some of his tactics. Right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul uh, is, is, is making a statement. He's saying, lest Satan should get advantage of us because we are not ignorant of his devices. The context uh, uh, in which he's making this statement uh, gives us insight into one of Satan's tactics. Uh, there in the Corinthian church, there's a man who has sinned and so he has to come under discipline. The church has uh, uh, responded to that and addressed the issue. And at the same time, now Paul is saying, okay, now you extend forgiveness, uh, bring him back into fellowship because he's of course repented of his wrongdoing. And then in that context, Paul is saying, uh, lest Satan should take advantage of us, because we are not ignorant of his devices. You see, the, the context there tells us that the enemy seeks to take advantage of situations, uh, situations that have come about because of our own wrongdoing, cause problems, conflict, difficulties, and so on. And the enemy seeks to take advantage of those situations to gain entrance and to carry out his work. And Paul is telling the Corinthian church, hey, uh, let's extend forgiveness, let's bring that man into fellowship, let's show love and mercy, although there has been correction and discipline. Uh, he says, now let's do this, and we don't want to let the enemy take advantage of the situation or take advantage of any of our wrongdoing in the situation uh, to cause any trouble, lest Satan should take advantage of us because we are not ignorant of his tactics, of his devices, of his games that he plays. So. One of the ways that the enemy will try to gain, uh, take or gain entrance into uh, believers' lives is by taking advantage of the situation. So we have to be careful. We have to be on guard. Like Peter says, we have to be sober, we have to be vigilant. As we go through various situations, we have to think, can the enemy gain entrance through what's going on? Or will the enemy try to take advantage of these situations? and we preempt that. If there is conflict, dissipate it as quickly as possible, bring peace in. You don't want to just let it go because Satan can try to take advantage of that. Remember, Satan seeks to take advantage of situations. Be preemptive, be on guard, be vigilant. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us be vigilant in every circumstance and situation. Being preemptive, Lord, and just putting our defenses up and outsmarting the enemy and not letting him take advantage of situations that we face and give him no place in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.